Hi, I'm Brian Preer, tutoring high school chemistry. Today's topic is enthalpy. Enthalpy is something that you'll need to know about in thermodynamics. What it is? Heat. And there are a few things we need to know about it. It's noted by the symbol delta H, and that's about it. If your enthalpy is less than zero, your reaction is exothermic. That means heat is released. If delta H is greater than zero, the opposite is true. It's endothermic. Heat is taken in. So what you'll sometimes be asked, asked to do is calculate the enthalpy for a reaction and find out whether or not your reaction is exothermic, or the opposite of, of course, endothermic. In order to do that, you'll need to know about heat of formation. That's generally denoted H sub F. And what that is, it's the heat required to make a compound. So, if you've got a negative number for this, it means that heat is released to make that compound positive number. Heat was put in. So let me just show you how this works. In calculating H for a reaction, you need to remember that the total delta H is H products minus H reactants. And I'll just demonstrate that with this chemical equation, which might look a little familiar. C3 H8 plus 5O2 goes to 4H2O and 3CO2. And you're asked to calculate delta H. Well, you'll be given a few numbers whenever you encounter one of these, and those will be heats of formation. The HF, and I'm just making these numbers up, you, you'll be given the right numbers. For C3H8, will be negative 1,250 kilojoules. That's Kj. Next, you'll need Hf for water. That will be negative 310 kilojoules. And last, Hf for CO2. How about we pick negative 100 kilojoules? You'll notice that I didn't give a heat of formation for oxygen. That's because it's an element. Any element has a heat of formation of zero. So you don't need to worry about that. OK. So we need to find the heat of formation in the products. How do you do that? Just add it together. So our products are water and carbon dioxide. We have four moles of water. So what we actually do is we multiply the heat of formation by four. So four times negative 310 kilojoules. And we add a carbon dioxide. We have three carbon dioxide, so plus three. In times negative 100 kilojoules. That's it, it's heat of formation. Now we need to subtract the heat of formation for our reactants. That's C3H8 and oxygen. Again, oxygen has no HF, so we just put in C3H8. That's negative 1,250 kilojoules. So actually, you could just write in a plus 1,250. The negative signs will cancel out. And so all you have to do, do this multiplication here, and then add it all together. What you get is negative 290 kilojoules in total. So now we have our delta H. And we can tell that since this is negative, we have an exothermic reaction. To recap, enthalpy is just heat. It's denoted by delta H. If it's less than zero, your reaction is exothermic, releasing heat. Greater than zero, endothermic, taking in heat. Whenever you want to calculate the delta H for a reaction, you need to know the heat of formation for all your compounds. When it comes to elements, HF is zero. So then just take the total HF of products, subtract the total HF of reactants, and you'll get a number. And that'll tell you whether or not it's exothermic or endothermic. Okay, that's all for now. Again, I'm Brian Preer. See you next time.